There were about 20 of us standing outside of a little restaurant. All of a sudden, one of the men looked up and said, Look, over in the west. And there was a bright light in the sky. We all saw it. And then the light, it got closer and closer to us. And then it stopped. I don't know how far away, but it stopped beyond the pine trees. And all of a sudden it changed color to blue. And then it changed to red, then back to white. And we were trying to figure out what in the world it could be. And then it receded into the distance. This quote may sound like your standard UFO sighting from any average Joe off the street. And in substance, it's nothing extraordinary as far as UFO sightings go. What is remarkable in this case, however, is the quote's source. It came from none other than Mr. Jimmy Carter, describing an experience he had on January 6th, 1969, eight years before he became the 39th President of the United States. Explanations given for the sighting range from the now cliché answer of Planet Venus to an Air Force rocket project involving the release of glowing chemical clouds. The origin of Carter's sighting may remain unknown, but we do know the effect that it had on Carter himself. During his presidential run years later, he told the press, One thing's for sure, I'll never make fun of people who say they've seen unidentified objects in the sky. If I become president, I'll make every piece of information this country has about UFO sightings available to the public and the scientists. Unfortunately, despite this pledge, Carter wouldn't disclose the country's information on UFOs during his presidency, citing defense implications. It's important to note that he didn't say that there wasn't information on UFOs, but simply that he couldn't disclose the information. So what is the truth? Whether or not Carter's sighting was legitimate, the U.S. government does apparently know more than they're sharing with the public. Are UFOs extraterrestrial vehicles? Are they secret military projects? Visitors from another time or dimension? Maybe it's a mix of many of these things and other yet unknown sources. But for now, the existence and origin of the UFO phenomenon remains a mystery. If you'd like to learn more about UFOs and other mysteries, I've included links below to videos and other resources. And if you like what I'm doing here and want to support me, please like, subscribe, and share on your social platform of choice. I post new bite-sized videos daily about mysteries, cryptids, aliens, and all things strange to kick off your day. See you tomorrow.